Have you ever wondered where our drinking water comes from? Let's take a closer look at how Wellington's water gets from its source to your tap. Wellington's water comes from just three precious sources. The first source is a natural underground reservoir beneath the Hutt Valley, the Waifetu Aquifer. Water from the Hutt River to Awa Kairangi starts to flow underground near the Taita Gorge and becomes naturally pressurised beneath a layer of hard clay. The water is filtered naturally over time and is then extracted using a series of wells. It is then carefully treated at either the Waterloo or Gear Island treatment plants. The second source is the bush-clad mountains and valleys at the southern edge of the Tararua Ranges, the Hutt River to Awa Kairangi catchment. River water is taken through a weir or low dam at Kaitoki and piped to the Temarua drinking water treatment plant. We also have two big storage lakes at Temarua called the McCaskill Lakes. These lakes store water for use when the river conditions aren't right for collection. The third source is combined water from the Wainui Mata and Orongoronga rivers located in the Rimutaka Ranges. Five weirs take water from the rivers and pipe them to the Wainui Mata drinking water treatment plant. Our rivers are fed by rain, so timing for collection is really important. Not enough rain or even too much rain can cause problems. When there's heavy rainfall, soil, sticks and stones wash into the river, making it difficult to treat. During times of drought or heavy rainfall, we rely on the aquifer and the lakes to meet our drinking water demand. Our three catchments are really precious, so we make sure they're protected to keep pollution and pests to a minimum. After the water is collected, it's treated to make sure it's safe to drink. Supplying clean and safe drinking water to Wellingtonians is one of our most important jobs. Once we've carefully collected water from our catchment areas, we apply a multi-barrier approach as the water travels through the treatment system to remove dirt and debris and eliminate harmful bacteria. We have four treatment plants to help this. Te Marua, Waterloo, Wainuiamata and Gear Island. Our river intakes have screens at their openings which act like a sieve, stopping any large rocks, sticks and other debris from entering the system. Coagulation is the process where positively charged chemicals are added into the water and attract contaminants and dirt like a magnet to remove them. Flocculation is where smaller particles are brought together, forming large clumps called flock. By gently mixing the clumps with large paddles, the clumps increase in size and they are able to be easily separated and removed through filtration. Water is filtered through a variety of filter beds containing gravel, sand and activated carbon. Fluoride is also added. The Ministry of Health requires us to add this for dental protection. Lime is also added to adjust the pH level of the treated water to help protect distribution pipes from corrosion. Chlorine is added to make sure the water supplied to your home is safe. It kills bugs that could potentially pass through the treatment process or could have entered the network after the water has been treated. Ultraviolet light is used at our Waterloo and Gear Island treatment plants in conjunction with chlorination. We use a combination of UV and chlorine to provide protection from protozoa and bacteriological risks as part of a multi-barrier approach. Now that the water is safe to drink, it's ready to be delivered to your home. Once we've made Wellington's water safe to drink, it's transported through pipes, pumps and reservoirs to your home. Imagine it as a bit like a network of highways and roads connecting everything. This is our drinking water network. The network begins at the treatment plant, where water is transported along bulk mains, like highways, which carry most of your water. The bulk mains then lead to around 140 reservoirs. Reservoirs are storage tanks that store water in the network. They are also used for important things like storage for firefighting and after seismic events. From the reservoirs are trunk mains, which are like the main roads travelling down into residential and commercial areas. 
The trunk mains connect to smaller pipes called reticulation mains, a bit like the roads that lead to your home or work. Finally, there are private laterals which come off the reticulation mains. They're the driveways of the network. They connect the public drinking water network to your home. Pump stations are located at points in the network where drinking water needs to be pumped up a hill to reservoirs and high points, which can be very important in a hilly city like ours. Did you know Wellington's drinking water network is made up of a massive 7,100 kilometres of pipeline? That's almost the distance from here to Hawaii. A lot of the network is 30 to 100 years old, and while we have maintenance and renewal programs in place, over time things start to wear and tear, and leaks can form around the network. We use leak detection technology to locate hard to find leaks around the network, but we also rely on Wellingtonians to help us spot and report leaks in the community. Each drop of water goes through a huge journey to get to your tap, which is why it's really important that we are all mindful of our water usage and love every drop, now and into the future.